Hey guys, Dalton here, and we're going to be doing a quick bulb replacement tutorial, as well as opening the top cover of the chassis of this Vivitec HK2288. First, we're going to be removing this bulb compartment cover by taking out the two small screws on the side. You'll of course need a precision screwdriver to do this. Alright, now that we've got those screws out, we can go ahead and remove the compartment cover. As you can see, we've got a connector here, as well as the bulb housing. Let's take a closer look at this. Next, we will remove the three screws that are holding the housing in place inside of the projector. There's one on each side, as well as one at the top. Well, besides dropping my screwdriver, that went off without a relative hitch. Alright, now all we have to do is get this connector unplugged. It's just got a little latch on the side here and it'll just lift right out. It's just a simple latch. You find these on a lot of electronics. Alright, and there it is. There's our bulb compartment. So if you're looking to replace your bulb, you just slap your bulb in here, put those screws in, and you're good to go. But we're going to be taking a few steps further this time, because we're going to be taking this top off in order to do a little bit more of a servicing on it. We'll start by removing these two screws that were hiding underneath the bulb compartment cover. This will of course allow us to get this top cover off, but we're far from done. We have several screws that are on the bottom of the chassis that go all the way through the chassis and are quite long. We'll get to those next. Now that that's done, let's get this flipped over and get these final screws taken out. Like I said, these are very large screws that run all the way through the chassis. There are eight of them. You've got three on the left side and three on the right side, and then there are also two screws that are closer towards the middle. Alright, with all those screws out of the way, we now need to get this connector moved from its little slot here. It's just kind of clipped into the plastic shell, and we just got to get it moved out of the way. Alright, now there will be a little tab here on the side that will allow you to just easily lift this top cover off. And there you have it. We've got the top cover off, and now you can easily see all of your fans as well as your vents in order to get them cleaned off with a microfiber cloth. These sometimes build up with dust and can cause overheating problems. This unit, however, is pretty clean and I don't foresee this being an issue with it. Well, once again guys, thanks for watching the video and I hope you'll all leave a like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, feel free to drop a comment below. Once again, thank you for choosing Jaspertronics for all your projector needs and we'll see you guys next time.